checking out Neville Lighthouse this morning. You can see the waves there too. Picking Already up. Crashing. Yep, picking up. Kind of a gloomy morning too. We've been really fortunate this month and that we've had a lot of sun. We have, yeah. It's not very typical of March, but big change coming up today, Sam. Mm -hmm. Lazy we, Sunday for sure. Yes, that is for sure. We do need any precipitation we can get though. If you've been around our lakes and ponds, I'm sure you've seen how low they are. It's unfortunate in this case, it'll be rain because of course the mountains would like to get snow. Just not going to get much out of this one. It's mostly rain statewide. The morning, mostly dry. Heavier rain moves into southern and western Maine afternoon time and the afternoon and evening will be quite wet. In eastern Maine, though, it's a little bit delayed. Heavier rain waits until after 3 o'clock, so you get more of the daylight hours in dry. A lot of rain to our south, flooding overnight and flooding still ongoing in places like Nashville, Tennessee. For us this morning, it's cloudy and temperatures have come up a bit. We're around 40 right now in Portland, 41 in Portsmouth, 34 in Bangor. Only places below freezing are to the north of Bangor this morning, and even there, the temperatures will be going up. So 9 o'clock this morning, mostly cloudy, but mostly dry. Maybe a sprinkle or flurry out there. By noontime, we're starting to get some rain showers developing in western Maine. Maybe cold enough at the beginning of this to get some snowflakes in the higher elevations of western Maine. But even there, I expect a change over to rain to happen this afternoon. By 3 o'clock, heavy rain, southern, western, central Maine. And then that works into eastern Maine after 3 o'clock. By early evening, it's raining heavily everywhere. There may even be some rumbles of thunder as all of this comes through. And we keep that going through the first half of the night. After midnight, though, we'll move this offshore, and by this time tomorrow morning, the sun will actually be out in southern Maine, and there will be some back-end snow showers and flurries in the mountains and up north. We need the rain. It looks like a good soaking, a widespread 1 to 2 inches on the way. Some places may pick up over 2 inches. A flood watch is in effect uh, for the higher elevations of western Maine and northern New Hampshire. Uh, some of the river valleys may see some minor flooding, but I'm not expecting any significant issues given how dry it's been. The wind is another aspect of the storm. Wind coming in out of the southeast today. It gets gusty for everyone, but the strongest winds will be in the high terrain and on the coast of the mid coast and down east to later today. Some isolated power outages are possible there today. And then tomorrow the wind flips and comes in out of the west. We all get windy tomorrow with gusts over 45 miles per hour possible tomorrow afternoon. So some isolated outages are expected. I don't expect anything widespread, but they could be somewhat more problematic down east where you get that first round of wind that comes through today. So it's windy behind the storm tomorrow, but we do clear out temps in the 40s. High pressure builds in for Tuesday. That looks like the pick of the week. Sunshine temperatures up into the 50s on Tuesday. Clouds increase on Wednesday with this frontal system coming in, but we should squeak out one more mild day. Mid to upper 50s may even touch 60 degrees inland on Wednesday. Next system comes in on Thursday, but there's a real lack of cold air. I think as this comes in, it'll be mostly rain because the cold lags behind this front. Maybe a flip to snow in the mountains, but it looks like another rainmaker Wednesday night into Thursday. Seas building six to nine feet today. Gale warning up this afternoon through tomorrow. Temps in the 40s today with rain moving in, clearing windy tomorrow. Tuesday looks nice, sunny in the 50s. Mild on Wednesday up near 60 inland with increasing clouds and the risk for a shower late. Next system comes in late Wednesday through Thursday. At the moment, it looks like we clear it out and cool down Friday. And at the moment, next weekend looks dry and sunny to start. Sam? All right. Thanks, Ryan.